So when building a value chain specifically for core processes, we can think around three main steps. Imagine it, build it, and sell it. Imagine it essentially contains processes for designing the product or service. Building contains all the processes that are required uh, for delivering the product or service. So in case of the product, this would include sourcing the raw materials, assembling, so manufacturing the product. In case of the service, it would simply include the delivery of the service. And then finally, the third step is sell it. This would include processes like market, the actual sell and after sales care services for the product and service. A typical value chain for a producer would look like this. Source, make, deliver and service. And now value chains can be used not only to help us establish the order relationships between processes like upstream and downstream, but also to identify the various specializations that are available for a given process. In fact, this specialization relation can be applied on the level of the whole value chain. For example, this typical value chain for a producer can be specialized into three value chains. One for stock orders, where we source uh, the stock products, make to stock, deliver stock products, and service stocked products. A second one for NTO products, make to order products. These are custom made orders of uh, typically low volume. So made up again of, of four uh, core processes which relate to the MTO products. So source MTO products, make to order, deliver MTO products and service MTO products. And finally for ETO products, engineer to order products. These are products that are again highly customized, low volume orders. In fact, after the first core process source ETO products, the second core process would be engineered to order, where before making the product, the product is actually engineered, is designed, and then deliver ETO product and service ETO product. The notion of value chain can also be applied for a service provider. So, for example, this IT service provider has four value chains, each capturing a particular core business in this organization, systems integration, outsourcing, network services, and enterprise server technology. And each value chain referring to a particular customer. For example, systems integration refers to those customers who are in need of software development services, whereas outsourcing refers to those customers whose software applications need to be managed by this IT service provider. So it would be typically different customers. And uh, the same notion of specialization of services can be applied for uh, a service provider. For example, the typical value chain of core processes for an insurance company, so insurance product development, which is indeed uh, a service, uh, sales and claims, is specialized according to the different type of insurance products provided by the company. That would be, for example, home insurance, motor insurance, commercial insurance.